today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I know I'm very late to the trend, but I'm going to be answering some of your assumptions uh, that I got off Instagram. So I put a little poll up on my story uh, a few days ago, actually probably a few weeks ago now that you're seeing this video, um, and just asked for some assumptions from you guys. So I haven't uh, picked that many because I thought I could talk uh, in detail basically. I thought I was going to ramble in some of these and I didn't want this video to be three hours long. So uh, <laughs> I did pick a few. I think there's around nine. But anyway, let's get into the video. So I have my assumptions on my laptop here. Um, the first one is actually quite a difficult one. So my very first one is Merino is the favourite loan you've ever had. So uh, for anyone new, just moving a bit closer so you can see me. So for anyone new, uh, Merino is my loan horse at the minute. He's a 15 to Andalusian and he's 19. So he's a year older than me. I'm 18, but I'll be 19 this year. So basically the same age. Um, so I've never owned a horse. I've always loaned. And I think it's been around eight or nine horses I've loaned now. Um, but I couldn't actually say that Merino is my favourite. Um, I just think I loaned all these horses for a reason. That like they all had something special about them, in my opinion. So I couldn't really pick a favourite. Merino, he is a very I'm gonna say classy. I don't know if you'll know what I mean, but he's just he is the spookiest horse I've ever sat on, 100%. But he just, when he's jumping, he just has this bit of like pizzazz about him. And his flat work, he's just, when if I would ever learn how to ride him, he's such a brilliant dressage horse. He's won loads of shows with his owner. Um, The horse I had before him, the general, I absolutely adored him. He gave me so much confidence. Um, We got our my highest uh, dressage score. Um, there was a horse I had, Porsche, who uh, she, I think she's the reason that I have any confidence at the minute. Um, she was just an absolute angel. She never put a foot wrong. Um, I had a, a little, um, whenever I first started riding, my first loan was called Barney. Uh, he was a trotter cob. Again, he was, he was a bit crazy, but we loved him. I had an ex-racer called Katie. Um, so I couldn't say... Marino is my favourite, although he does have a very special place in my heart or else I would be loaning him. And I do absolutely love the bones of him. But uh, no, I don't think I could say he's my favourite. <laughs> so next... Uh, so the next one... I can't remember who put this assumption. I'm very sorry if it was you. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know. But this girl said, you want the event. And you know what? I would absolutely love the event. If I ever had the opportunity, eventing would be um, what I would actually do rather than dressage. Because um, I love jumping. I absolutely adore jumping and I love cross country. Um, however, any horse that I've had, like Marino, for example, he doesn't do cross country very well. He's quite spooky and quite nervous. So dressage is his forte. Um, and I'm yet to get out show jumping with him, but from what we're doing in the arena at home, he is an absolutely brilliant show jumper. So I'd love to try some little two phases with him. But um, I've never had a horse that would be able to do all three of all three phases. But if I ever did get the opportunity, I would absolutely love to be an eventer. That is that is the dream. If I could event, oh my goodness. So uh, my video cut off, which was very lovely of my phone. I'm really glad it decided to do that. And then my heater's just turned off uh, because it's actually broken. There we go, there we go. I just looked directly into it and I can't see. Anyway, <laughs> so the next assumption is you have lots of saddle pads. And yeah, I would guesstimate around 20. Um, I did do a saddle pad collection to her um, quite a while ago. But I have got quite a few more, um, so I can do an updated video if you would like. But um, <clears throat> since I did that video, uh, Christmas has happened, <laughs> which is uh, quite a easy way to put it. Um, but also before I had Merino, I'd never ridden um, in a dressage saddle. So I didn't have any dressage cut saddle pads. It was all um, CC and jump cut. So I had I just had to buy some dressage ones. Um, I, my most recent one is Dark Sky, um, which will be in, it'll be the last video I posted, the one just before this. 
Um, I did get that for Christmas, but because Merino was on box rest, I never got to use it. <clears throat> so I have a, quite a few new dressage cuts and I'm also eyeing up another one. Um, I think it's called Paris Parisian Blue or something like that. It's either Equestrian Stockholm. I think it's Equestrian Stockholm actually, yeah. Um, but yeah, I might actually do an updated um, video for my saddle pads because there are quite a lot. And I do have the matching um, ear bonnet things as well. <laughs> um, but anyway, on to the next one. Also, I need to find clothes that match them because that'd be really cute. But anyway, um, <clears throat> the next one is your favourite discipline is dressage. And I'm going to be honest, it actually isn't. Um, I do love dressage, but I think I only really got into it because I had no confidence jumping. Um, and whenever I got my confidence back, I've just kind of realised, like, oh, I wish I was doing this. Um, Marino is actually, he has, he's brilliant, his jumping's brilliant and his flat work's amazing. So I might try and do some, like, two phases on him and see how that goes. Um, but no, dressage isn't the favourite. I'm more of a, a jumping person now, although I do, majority of the time I ride, it's uh, flat work but I just I don't know I just got really confident and um, one of my friends asked me to ride her horse and compete him um shoe jumping obviously um I'm not sure if you've seen him on the channel it was quite a while ago he's called Geronimo but oh my goodness he just brought my confidence like woom. like he was incredible I brought him to Cavan um I jumped my first ever meter course on him and I also got eliminated but that's it was it was no one's fault <laughs> it's a long story but it was no one's fault um but yeah, no, he's incredible and he just brought my confidence like through the roof. It was, I'm so lucky that she let me ride him or else I'd still probably be quite scared of jumping to be perfectly honest with you. So the next two I have here, um, these are from just another para rider on Instagram and little Miss Molly on Instagram. So just another para rider has said, you wish you didn't have grey ponies. And little Miss Molly has said, your favourite coat colour is grey. So two completely opposite um, assumptions here. I'll have to be honest, just another power rider, you are correct. I really wish my boys weren't grey. I'm saying my boys because um, at the time this was put on my Instagram story, I was riding Finn, who is uh, a lovely lady at the yards horse. Uh, while Marina was on box rest, she very kindly let me ride him and he was also grey. He was completely grey and Marino's flea bitten. And I spent my entire life cleaning them. Like it was just, it was non-stop. Every five seconds I was getting the brushes out and cleaning them. Also the lighting's getting really bad on the sides now. Like I do, ha I do have a face. Um, I do have the light on. It's just getting really dark because I had to stop to go back to my online classes. But anyway, um, so yeah, I wouldn't actually say I wish I didn't have greys because then it wouldn't be merino. So I would say if I could customise them and make them bay, then yeah, I would definitely do that. But I would never actually wish that I didn't have greys. And to answer little Miss Molly's uh, assumption, my favourite coat colour is grey. Absolutely not. Literally not a chance. I think they're lovely to look at. They're absolutely beautiful if someone else cleans them. And there's so many like really clean greys on Instagram. I do not know how everyone does it. It's the bane of my life. My boys usually go out looking quite disgusting, to be perfectly honest. Um, however, I don't think it's my least favourite. If I could customise a horse, right, if I could customise a horse, it would be bay. And then if I couldn't get bay, it would be, I don't know, like a roan or something. Roan's quite a cool colour. Um, greys and coloureds. I'm like neutral on greys and coloureds. I don't like black horses like jet black I don't know I feel like they get sun bleached very easily I don't know not a fan but anyway that's that's just my opinion <laughs> we'll move on from that so the next one is another one from little miss molly and she says your favorite equine leggings are copa and finally someone has got a true one <laughs> um now I'm not obviously not paid to say anything obviously I would tell you but these leggings are just uh, the quality is just amazing. Um, I actually am filming this video on the same day that I filmed another video. So I do actually have a new pair of leggings right beside me that I had to try on and show for one of the videos. Um, that The ones I just got are the steel because Copa had just had a restock. So I have two pairs of the jet black leggings because they're actually so comfy that I used to wear them to work. Uh, I worked in a vet's. 
So one for work and one for riding, and then I've just got a steel pair uh, for riding. But I absolutely adore them. They're so comfy. They're so flattering. The fit is just perfect. Um, the logo doesn't like peel off, which I find with the bigger brands is a massive issue for me. Um, really, really deep pockets as well. I have this a fear of riding with my phone in any pocket because some just aren't deep enough and my phone just like flips out, especially with the pony as spooky as Merino, it just goes flying. But I actually do ride. I've actually jumped with my phone in these leggings, which is a big deal for me because I'm very, very scared of my phone getting hurt. But no, they, they definitely are my favourite leggings. I can't recommend them enough if anyone's looking. Um, They're definitely, you know, they're very, very affordable as well. Actually, that's another thing I should mention. Um, as I've just said that I spend all my money on cleaning my horses so definitely if you're looking at our leggings definitely head over to Copa I'll try and leave a wee link to the website or to the Instagram in the description below as well so the next one we have is from now I'm not sure if this girl's Instagram name is making Marianne or making Marlene because it's a screenshot <laughs> I was too small for me to see I don't wear glasses um, and she has said you prefer barefoot to horseshoes and yeah yeah um merino is shod though he's sh he has shoes on all four feet um because he just he wouldn't really be able to go barefoot uh, i'm pretty sure he would go lame very quickly he's quite a sensitive soul bless him but i have had barefoot horses in the past um, i'm pretty sure finn was barefoot yeah finn was barefoot um who I rode just but about Marina was off. And definitely 100 percent if you can go barefoot, definitely do. I have loads of friends that have went barefoot and their horses are doing absolutely brilliant and it's saving them a lot of money, which I'm very jealous about. But I just know Marino and his delicate little self, he would just he would hurt himself. He's an absolute idiot. He he would end up crippled. Um however uh recently shoes haven't been our best friends because We've had to introduce a hay net to stop him eating so quickly and he he's quite a dramatic animal so whenever he paws he doesn't just like paw he like paws and he keeps getting his shoes stuck in his net so he's uh, ripped one net and then he's ruined another two because we've had to cut him out of them and this is in the space of two weeks he's went through three hay nets so we've given up on hay nets the shoes had to stay sadly we couldn't just rip all the shoes off but yeah no um definitely if i do prefer barefoot but my horse personally just can't go barefoot but if you can't fair play fair play you, you're saving a lot more money than i am and i admire you for that <laughs> and last but not least you have quite a simple one but i just thought it would clear some things up for some people um equestrian lucy 03 uh, the instagram name she says you own a horse no i don't uh merino is my loan pony i well he's not a pony he's 15 too but i part loan him three days a week um some friends do ask me to ride their horses which is why sometimes i may be riding more and um, more different horses um i've never owned a horse i've always loaned um i've loaned quite a lot of horses now actually um some with friends some by myself like Marino's my own personal loan um but I just with school commitments and I'm hopefully going to uni next year I just wouldn't want to I wouldn't be able to have the time for one and I don't know if I'd want to buy a horse and then get a loaner straight away because that I, it wouldn't be fair on the per horse um if I did have the time I would love one I do plan on getting one in the future I have no idea what I want yet though but yeah no I do plan on getting one in the future whenever I can uh, financially support it and support it in terms of time as well but at the minute it just I would firstly be poor <laughs> I would definitely be poor I'd have to live in the stable with the poor thing and I just wouldn't have time for it it wouldn't get ridden um it would get ridden like once a week or something I do ride Merino three times a week but if you're doing it every day and I couldn't afford full livery either to be perfectly honest so no I don't own a horse I know loads of people on Instagram, there are um, people that DM me about this all the time, asking do I own and asking, you know, I'm not very good at like clarifying what horses I'm riding. Um, I forget that people actually want to know. Um, so Finn was a, was a girl at the yards horse. I rode him while Marina was off. Geronimo, who's a bit coloured, um, he's a friend's horse that I got asked to compete. Um, any other horses 
you can just ask me on my Instagram because I just forget that like horses are just appearing out of nowhere but I haven't bought any. I don't plan on buying any in the foreseeable future. It'll be quite a while away yet. <laughs> I'm only 18. I can't afford that right now. Um, and when I do get one, it's more than likely going to be a pony. If if it's a pony, if it's going to be a horse, it'll be barely a horse because I'm quite small. So I think like like 15 too, I reckon would be like my cap. So I may never actually own a horse. It may just be a pony. <laughs> but uh, that is the last one. So that is it for this week's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I'm very, very late to the trend, but better late than never and all that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It would be very appreciated. And I will see you next week for another video. Bye.